So the whole internet is on fire with the Draymond Green and Jordan Poole scuffle, man. And I ain't a lot of y'all, man. It's hurting my heart. It's affecting me in a different type of way because Draymond Green is my favorite player in the league. Y'all think I'm bull when I say that, but he really is my favorite player in the league because I think he epitomizes what a lot of players should strive to be as in you're not the best player as far as talent, but you work your ass off and then you get there and you become an invaluable part of a, um, of a championship team. Kind of like what I've done in 2K, really. I mean, this, this is, you know, just look at right here. I'm not the greatest or uh, any of that. Y'all probably wonder why I haven't covered it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't cover a lot of negativity on my channel. I just don't. But I will say this. I do agree with De'Aaron Fox, and uh, we're just going to do it like this, man. Hey, someone's definitely getting fired for that leaked video. Uh, and then also the all-time greatest player of all time, Reggie Miller, he says, how the hell was was that Draymond Green Jordan Poole video leaked? That is an in that is an in-house video. Man, there be I mean, there better be some heads rolling. Y'all are the world champs and have an incident. I mean, have an inside snitch. Come on, man. Hey, that's all, that's all I feel about it. Me and Gabby was talking about it yesterday, bro. And we was talking about like, yo, that's crazy because people get to fight in practice and amongst themselves all the time. You get to argue with your wife and your family and all that stuff all the time. And the difference is you get to continue on and, and keep on acting like nothing happened because nobody saw it. But when everybody sees it, it changes the whole thing, man. So, hey, I don't know, man. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation and we just gonna leave it at that. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Like I said, I don't, I don't I just think it's unfortunate the video got out because I done seen teams fight. I done seen teammates fight i done seen doggone um we, you know shoot even steve curry and mike got the, you know got into it or whatever steven davis and michael westbrook all that stuff but the difference is that that was a time where there was no footage of it it was no i'm sure footage existed but it didn't get out man but anyway like i said you just gotta protect yourself at all times speaking of protecting yourself at all times man the bots down in the comment section man Look, leave them alone unless I hit you up and say hit me up on Instagram or Twitter or Twitch or something like that. Something that's in one of my social medias or even the email or whatever, man. Make sure you don't respond to that, man, because those guys are trying to scam y'all. I'm blocking all of them as many as I can. But just re press protect yourself. And like I said, and it's really tough for y'all because I'm actually giving away a $50 gift card. We're going to do the drawing today after this video. Um, a $50 gift card, $50 in cash app. We're also going to give away a, uh, a next-gen console if we can average 10,000 views on each video this uh, this month, man. So y'all make sure y'all keep liking the videos, keep commenting. The way that you enter is just like the video and comment. And other than that, let's just get right into the crux of the video, man. Good morning out there in 2K land, man. I had to go over that, man, because a lot of people just been asking me and like I said I don't like to cover stuff like that because it's an unfortunate situation I feel like it should stay in the house and my only opinion on it is what Reggie and De'Aaron Fox got like I don't know how that video got out that's what we should be concentrating on how did that video get out more than what actually happened because people gonna have disagreements it just is what it is up first we got my boy Al Samurai aka Sammy Sammy oh, hey man check it out man he says it's easy for people to say that 6 9 should be patched or steals this or that Truth is, most players only care about win percent, not getting better at the game. Two, uh, Baluba 2K23 is a masterpiece. And that's what I feel like, bro. And we're going to prove what we what they talking about right after this. Because check this out. This is what they putting out from the stage. This is what, uh, <laughs> yo, hey, yo, that's EJ says. Can we keep the triple six nine rim running in the damn park, please? It's so annoying to play against. Really? Because I love to see the triple six nine rim running in the in 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 the park and really anywhere. It's just it's crazy to me that it's crazy to me that that people really feel like tr it's hard to stop the triple six nine rim running when you know all you gotta do is back up off of them a little bit and when you see them hit hit you with their first LeBron James hop back, they either gonna go around you or they gonna try to shoot a three. If you can make a miss that three, then you good to go. You up, you gonna win the game. But they are gonna rim run, man. It is what it is. I just think it's I just think that it's insane that that you come in there and you got bills with with no defense in them like you like most of the time people go into the stage they're gonna have a bill with no defense and then they are going this is the thing that i don't like in 2k community you're gonna come in the stage and when you come in there you got one bill with this just straight glass cannon he's all offense no defense right and he's going to he's gonna rim run and he's gonna take advantage of every matchup mismatch 
that he has. They're gonna try to they're gonna try to uh screen and roll and get the uh and get one of the get the other guard into the pick and roll. They're gonna screen and roll and try to get the center switched on to the guard and he gonna get abused and all of that. And everybody's okay with that. But when somebody else comes along and abuses something else or abuses another mechanic, like having the six nines and stuff, like three six nines, and now you may actually have to play some defense, then people get mad at that. They ain't trying to hit it. So I, I, I never have understood that in the stage, whole stage community. Like, there's only one way to win. There's only one way to play the game. And if you play it any other way, it's invalid. I don't understand that, man. Like, I, I just feel like there's no truth about how we're going to play this game because when it comes down to it, those people going to do what they want to do anyway, man. So, you know, it is what it is up next we got the boy we got the boy heads is saying the six six nines are the best bill in the game but they're but they are no p to the point i mean to the point where they need a patch anyone can still be the six nine they just uh they just are super yeah bd they, they, they you just don't have to have much sense to play with them and uh and use annoying to play and I, I mean annoying i guess I'm trying to say annoying to play against as a six nine user and 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 an mf then what the world as a 6'9 user and a MF then been that's been making tall bills uh for the longest I can admit that so what he's saying is 6'9s aren't really a problem but they aren't the hardest to play with so you know what I'm saying like like it ain't the hardest bill to play with because your rim run is so powerful because because so few people put um Perimeter defense, interior defense, and stuff like that on their build. They skimped on that. So the rim run is tough on them, and they got the big hop back and stuff like that. So, you know, it is what it is. That's what he's saying. Like, I've been playing with with tall bills all the time, and I can tell you that the 6'9 is one of the bills that don't take the most skill, but you know it is what it is. And right, we got the doggone what's the last saying? Keep going. Prime said the park, the park with all the 6'9. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it, man. Like, it's not really an issue, though. Like I said yesterday, you know what they're gonna do. They're not. They can't change direction. They can't. They can't do a whole lot of stuff. All they can do is big LeBron James hop back and go ball hand. You close. I'm gonna show y'all how to guard the six nine, man. Me and Gabby gonna show y'all how to do that. But the real thing is, when they do the big hop back, you close out to the ball hand a little bit, just enough so they can't shoot, but enough so they gotta run into you, and, it, and it's not really a big deal. But I got interior and block on my bill so that's probably why i don't i don't really it don't really bother me but you know it is what it is up next we got the boy impetual he says y'all complain about the six nine but it's a generation we got uh but in this generation we got 18 year old victor wimbiana wimbiana uh standing at a at seven four he really seven two seven uh <laughs> like what the world talking about six nine guards not realistic tighten up Think about what the NBA is about to encounter. Now, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be tough. I don't think he's gonna be getting that loose with it, but I definitely understand what you're saying. Up next, we got that boy Badgy Pluggy saying, most people on 6 nines are shit. That's it. If you're losing consistently just because they got a 6 8 or 6 9, that's your fault. And that's what I absolutely say, bro. I definitely agree with that. I'm telling you, I don't, we don't lose to them. We don't lose often anyway, but we definitely ain't really losing to those 6 9. Like, if you're losing to somebody and you know that they're going to get on that rim every play, you might want to adjust your, your defensive strategy. Or you might just want to get a couple of threes up or something like that, get them behind the eight ball, make them miss one or two times. And then once you do that, now you're up and they don't want to take them twos no more they want to take twos or threes make them make them want to do something else then when they want to do something else you stop that now you up five and the game is really over with man the boy dime work just came straight out of saying hey somebody asked dime work they said dime do you think it's important for a guard to have higher interior and block uh he's six four 95 percent of the time i get driven on it's a free bucket cheers and dime says maybe if you maybe if you mainly play the part otherwise I wouldn't prioritize um i wouldn't prioritize interior defense on a guard bill and i definitely agree with that if you play park mainly you gotta put some interior on that dude man your only the only thing you need is like 60 interior and i think everybody got enough to get like 70 block or something it's got a few points but you need to have about 60 interior so you can shut down that rim run and and kind of stop that now if you don't put interior on your build and you don't even think about trying to stop it, then that's kind of on you. But like I said, the whole glass cannon meta, meta, I think it's getting exposed by the 6'9 guards. And I think that's why a lot of people are putting out the perception that 
the six nine guards are broken and they're bad for the game because they want that to change so they can go back to the glass cannon meta. Because like I said, as you can see, a lot of people ain't happy with it. They don't like having to play defense. They don't like all three positions being able to get out their corner and get loose and wiggle a little bit. And they just want to go back to what it was last year. One person can stand in the corner while everybody else is, uh, you know, while everybody else has to sit there and go play defense. But you see how we do, man. We, we, we do a different type of defense. We switch everything and we do that. All of our guys got high interior defense. And like for me, I got high interior defense. Uh, I got what, 80, 84 interior defense, uh, 90, 93 defensive rebound and 80 offensive rebound and then like an 80 some odd block. Cause I wanted to be sure that I could get stops down there if a guard goes down there. But at the same time, I wanted to be sure that I could go close out positions and rebound. And if they switch me on to the center or whatever, then I would be able to do something about that as well. But, you know, it is what it is, man. That's how I wanted to make my guy. But I understand if you didn't want to make your guy like that. Also, that boy Solo YT say the theater is such a great addition. And, I, and I, I definitely agree with that. Speaking of the theater, man, check this out. This is what we got. This is what we got this week. Um, We got... Now Amex, double or nothing. Winning player will earn uh, winning players will earn double XP. Losing players get no XP. So that's gonna be tough in there. You got the 5v5 park style game in there. Um, you got the 90 squads, uh 90 squads only. Only players with an overall of at least 90 are allowed entry. And then you got 1v1 losers out. But I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I really enjoy the theater, and I think it was one of the dopest ideas that they could ever put into 2K because they get to test out the different game types and see what the community is. Is digging what they not digging and maybe next year they can do it instead of switching it weekly they can take some of the they can have like a theater and uh, you know a classical theater something like that they can have two theaters or just two places you know how they had the market last year and they had the uh they had the market and they had the uh the warehouse so you know they can have the theater and the show maybe or something like that and then like the show ones it can it can have like the theater can rotate weekly but the show or whatever you want to call it you can have that rotating um rotating monthly but the most played game style or the most popular game style maybe we can vote on it something those get to stay so those can get to be almost a permanent fixture you understand what i'm saying but then it, 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 it's a great idea man mike holly me man I, I got the best ideas on the game bro up next we got a d i mean a, a d days uh, you know they got the double XP. How you rock when you rock your Adidas gear? I don't know if anybody still needs to get that man, but if you do, uh, they got the double XP uh, weekend coming up right now. Uh, you got the, you know, we got new apparel out there in uh, in swags, man. I gotta go get me another shirt, little, little undershirt, something like that, man. Y'all know I got the best drip in the game. Y'all already know I got the best drip in the game, man. So I don't even know why y'all hating on it. And last but not least, bro, we got community clips. Like I said, I'm trying to let y'all get up out of here this morning, man. That boy, that say. For the money, yeah. Hit him up top. Oh, yeah, give me that steal. Steal stolen. Up court. Trays up. Splash down. Starlito buttermilk here. And I shall be taking over this. This, this, this. What, 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 what do you call this? This is a, this is a commentary. I shall be taking over the commentary of these for the, for the foreseeable future. Here we are. Up next, we've got Boots. Boots down court. He's saying for the money as well. They're setting screens. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is gonna not be for the money. I just want the money is in the first quarter. Trays up, splash down. It's in the third quarter and the game is 26-26. Why is this labeled for the money? This is not for the money. This is, this is, this is a regular three ball in the red in the middle of the game. What are you doing? Here he comes. He comes up and sets the pick. He rolls to the basket. No one sees him. He passes it there, passes it back. One another pass back, trays up, splash down. It's a great bucket. But it's not for the money there. Hey, uh, dunked on him so hard he quit. Mitchell ain't Oh my Jesus Christ! He goes down. Oh my God, Rock! Oh my goodness! Wait a minute. Is this is is it malfunctioning? Is something my Oh he quit! And last but not least. Uh, that's actually it for today, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you made it this far, put buttermilk at the end of your comment or down in the in the comment section make sure you like the video because every time you like the video it helps us get closer to that also covered 100k also i would like for you all to put buttermilk down in the comment section uh if you have if you have made it this far and um what we're going to do if you do that you'll be entered in uh, with a chance to win a playstation 5 and or a uh you you have a chance to win a playstation 5 but also you shall be entered in a chance to win a 50 dollar gift card in car shop or something like that as it were so once again 
Make sure y'all like the video, man. If you like the video, you get a chance to win. You'll be entered for a chance. Like the video and comment down below, buttermilk down below at the end of your comment, and you get a chance to win a $50, a $50 gift card of VC or $50 in cash out. And also, if we can average 10K views at the end of the month, you will be entered for a chance to win a next gen console if you don't already have it, man. And if you do got it, just sell that bitch. I don't care. It don't cost you nothing but a like and a comment, man. Anyway, I'm out of job next time, man. Make sure y'all take care of yourself. Watch the bots. That's not me. I don't have Telegram. And I'm out of job next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.